Good morning everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to the Comlands on our little survival series. So, uh, today's big obstacle, I guess, is going to be, uh, going to be all that there soybeans. Not, not too, I, we'll have that done in like five minutes now with the new header. But, we have some other things I'd like to get done. Um, we're we're going to first take up these sunflower seeds and, and put them into production. This is out of our two uh, little greenhouses. And that's just making us stuff with water. So I can't really complain any about that. So production has been going pretty well. Um, and one thing I want to do is I want to take all the money today and invest it in more helpers. Uh, so housing, uh, I want to build a small playground if I can, and anything left over I want to put back into our, our solar farm, uh, which has basically been paying for our, our fuel cost through uh, through a lot of this now. I mean, since we've had them, they've, they've basically paid for fuel. So that's what the general plan is. How much do we have? Looks like we've got four, five pallet and 82,000 liters of canola left so yeah we're doing fairly well on, on all that stuff uh, we're going to use the fiat today in conjunction with the uh, harvester the, the case the axle flow whatever we want to call it the chungus and um, yeah we're just going to uh, to do just some basic little things today uh, our two big time-consuming pro crops are not done. I picked up all the bales. They're still fer fermenting, so um, got to got to worry about that. I, I've done a little something over there. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute. First, let's get back down here and get back set up. Uh, soybean price is down right now, so they're going into storage, and we're going to find other ways to make money today, I am sure. Now, again, I don't think that this is going to take very much time at all. So we're just going to really just kind of crack on with it. Um, this crop should come in pretty good. Uh, we've got some stone picking to do as well. And yeah, we got to get set for our next harvest, which is going to be pretty... I, I want to do a big one of some sort. I don't know what I want to plant. But uh, we haven't done uh, sunflowers in like a really long time. I know that we get them from the little production thing but I, I really like the look of them so we might do a field of those and uh because that'll that'll push us to have to do a, a plowed state on fields too so been trying to do more and more on on making the game make me do things so it should go it should go pretty good i don't know um but yeah i want to do something like that uh we do have the sugar beet coming in the sugar cane um, for those that don't know, we're using all of the money from the silage bales to buy the sugarcane harvester. And, yeah, we got to find uh, that and a trailer. And I don't know what trailer I want to go with right now. I'm tempted to get a semi-based one, uh, just because the amount that's going to come in, and we don't have a way to store it, uh, so the amount that's going to come in from that and uh, getting it up to sell is going to be tedious, let's say. Uh, so maybe we can do a, a truck and a trailer because the Ural is mainly here because uh, I bought it. It was on sale uh, and we needed a semi at some point. But it's not the only semi I want to own. It's really good for like off-road stuff, but I think for our our runs up and down to the store. It's really underpowered. It only has like 280 horsepower or something like that. And it, it's kind of slow. Max speed is 49. So getting something that we can uh, you know, get up to speed faster on uh, would help out a lot too. So we might look at a truck and a trailer there uh, along with the harvester. We'll just have to see where the money's at. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be pretty good. I think it will. Oh yeah, this this is going to go so fast today. Uh, how's that looking? Eh, we did what we did. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to both Uncle Andy and Winnie46 for uh, signing up for my Patreon. 
and helping support the 5020 fund, or as I like to call it, you know, you're feeding my ferret treats. So, uh, links down below if you'd like to join it. You don't get anything from it other than um, you're guaranteed to have a, a worker named after you. <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't know what else to do. People had talked about, you know, uh, helping out with uh, with the 5020 and the Pacific and, and all the other plans. So, I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, what else do we got going on today? I mean, we can't sell this. I'm trying to think... What do we do to make a ton of money? I think I want to get the workers set up. So, new housing. Three new houses. And I'd like to build uh, three little bit different houses. I might have to jump out of the game and then back in and get like a decoration pack or something. But, I want to build uh, a couple uh, couple different houses and uh, really kind of make that look organic. And... Uh, I just want to make sure that you know we, we're treating our workers well, so they need to have uh, you know a good, a good place to be. But I want to get like a spinnery if we can afford one at the end of the day. I don't know if we will be able to, but we are going to clean out a little bit more of that area there, and we're really going to work on uh, uh, fleshing out their their production area right there. Um, I don't want to go with anything huge. Uh, as you guys know, we're going to be adding uh, the town across the river at some point. So I don't want to blow up, you know, that, that large area there. I kind of want to have it uh, to feel like, you know, you ever driven across like the Midwest and you get to a place and uh, just like there's a store and then there's like a couple houses and, you know, just kind of something like that. Nothing, nothing major. So that's what we're going to shoot for. Now I'll be honest with you, I love this header. I'm thinking about getting a smaller one. We'll probably keep this one in case we get a bigger combine, but I think I need one that's a little bit narrower. But it, it's fine carrying it, I mean it's heavy on it, but it it's too wide for the pipe. So I can't unload on the go like I like to, and that's kind of a it's kind of not fun. What I'd really like to see us do is the sugarcane fund into uh, cotton. And that's something that we've not done yet. I think it's the only crop that we have not done. Let me double check that. Okay, we have not done olives either. So that might be its own thing. We uh, That's probably going to be something different. I don't know how all that works. Okay, this thing does feel a little underpowered on the hills. But... I mean, this is probably one of the steepest parts of our farm right now. I can't really complain on that. I think if I was going to buy a bigger combine, I'd probably get, like, the, the New Holland. It's the only combine that I've never really got to run. Uh, and I really like the look of them. Uh, the yellow kind of really pops, and it kind of sticks out from, well, the rest of this stuff. I, I think that's probably a good... A good thing to go with. Uh, I do have the 8R. He's out running around up in that field right now. Uh, he's going to do a little bit of cultivation up there. And we're going to pick out the rest of the stones. Uh, they are becoming an issue everywhere. So probably need to take care of them. Now I do have the conveyor belt on. So I'm hoping I can just pop this. There we go. Yeah, this is fine. I do wish the Batco worked uh, for a drive over like fill point because it's a lot less finicky I might try to fix it up because right now it's it's really weird it doesn't have like its own like little engine thing so it has to be run by something else and then when it's run by something else it doesn't lower it's just a lot of XML oddness so it you know I wouldn't remodel it but I could probably redo it and uh, make it make it work a little bit better now, as far as trucks are concerned, I'm really thinking about a Kenworth. I'm, I'm normally a Kenworth and, you know, Ford truck and tractor kind of guy. And we don't have either one of those right now. I wish that there was a good mod for a TW35. But I understand that there isn't because you can't put them on Mod Hub. Uh, you know, Ford's not allowed because reasons, I guess. So, you know, it, it kind of sucks that you can't have, like, a TW25 
DW35, you know, that, that family of tractors. I really, really like those. Uh, and it just kind of sucks that they're not, not there. But there is a really decent mod. I'm going to have to double check and make sure it's not too intensive uh, for this series of a Kenworth W9. And it was made by a feller on Expendables. I just, I hope it's not a screenshot queen. That's what I'm really, really hoping. It, you know, m most of the time their stuff works really good, but you know they're not like Expendables isn't like uh, how do I say? It? I don't want to be mean. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but there's you know it, it's a modding group. It's not a modder, right? So mods can appear. I, I do have like a couple Expendables trucks. You guys have seen them. And, and they do work well, but then I have one I can't use. It's 1.6 million tries. They took a movie-ready asset and then put it in game. Whoever the author was, I'm not saying Expendables themselves did it, but whoever that author was did that, and that's what I'm worried that this Kenworth might be. Because you get a lot of mods like that that look awesome. Like, they look so cool. There's a Dodge floating around that looks really, really cool. But, you know, it's it's a screenshot queen. You know, you can't play... It, it's too dense. You know, like, 1.6 million polys is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's see here. 2... 6 or 7 50 20s running around in, in this one in one truck. And that's that's a little 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 dumb, I think. Um, you know, and that was a pickup truck and this is a semi truck. So, I'm really going to be looking, you know, kind of hard at it. I'll, I I want to do some testing with it. I'm going to bring it into the test map and uh, we're going to fiddle around with it and see what it's about because you know, I the thing with this map is we've only ever sold one piece of equipment and that was because it just it didn't work and I was told that that combine was updated which is well and good but you know I, I can't because I want to keep everything it has to be done right <laughs> so I'm really really kind of uh, uh, worried on on what's out there and, and what we can get in but I'm, I'm sure I can make it work there's also the TLX series of trucks I mean but they're Peterbilt and Marmon base I think it's the truck company so, I don't know, I, I'm just, my dad was a Peterbilt guy, and I just never have been. Um, and I don't know why, I've always liked Kenworths more. There's something about the way they look, and drive, and everything, just, it feels like, it feels like the price tag that you have to pay for one, um, anytime that you're in one, where a Peterbilt kind of feels cheap but really expensive for whatever reason. Like, everything's just really... Well, it's cheap. Like, it doesn't feel good uh, whenever you're in one. And I get guys, you know, they drive them. Uh, my dad's driven truck for 34 years now, I think. 33, 34 years. And most of the time it's been in the Kenworth. And he doesn't like driving... Or he, he's driven Peterbilt's. Uh, he had a uh, 1379 in Canary Yellow. And he liked that truck. And he doesn't like driving Kenworths. But they, to me, it just... I don't know if it's because I had to work on them all the time. But I'm just like, I don't like this. I want something different. So, there we go. You know, one thing that we do have a lot of that we can sell is probably the honey. I've got so much of it, I think. Unless we sold that the other day. I know I sold like a couple of it, but I don't think I sold all of it. Uh, we might look at that. Are we gonna wipe this thing out in in less than 30 minutes like what that's crazy wow I didn't think I was gonna say this here but uh, we're on the last couple of passes that's really really fast I am in love with this header uh, I do believe that we probably need to go with a little bit more narrower one uh, for what we've got going on but it be what it be you know I don't know how I do it I'm like really good at this part of the game where I, I plant things and then watch as it goes in the toilet while uh, whenever it's harvested. It seems to be a skill that I have that I don't know anybody else that has. 
Uh, that kind of sucks. That one, that one hurts my feelers a little bit. Because I don't have anywhere to store sugar beet. Like, where do you put... Where are we going to put that? Uh, we would have to have a mouse to, to move that amount of sugar beet around. Uh, and it looks like it won't be back up until... Oh, look! A year from now. <laughs> because of course it is. Oh, no. What have I done? One thing I've never seen... Like, do they still do great demands? I haven't seen one come up... Uh, in a really long time. So, that's kind of, uh, kind of awkward. But I guess it be what it be. It took a little over 45 minutes, so I won't, uh, it won't hurt that too much. But, uh, how much do we end up with? Probably not too awful much. 21 there, probably another 18 there. Oh, god, under 40k? Probably? Yeah, no, a little over 40k. I guess we'll go directly to the source then. Hmm. Okay, we are going to use the 50-20 for a little bit of carting today of some rocks. I th think this trailer can hold rocks? Let me double check. Yes, this trailer can hold rocks. So let's get up there to the Versatile and we'll uh, start picking some more and, and getting those, uh, those rocks out. Now sadly, I only got two tons uh, from that whole other field. And that's kind of wild. I was expecting to get a lot more based on what we were pulling in in uh, in the other map, and seeing this low amount is a little heartbreaking because we have so much other stuff to do. I'm kind of uh, like, wow, this is um, just a ton lower. <laughs> I, I, I like it's so much lower. I have I have a hard time believing it because we pulled. I, th I think out of one field, we pulled like 50,000 tons, or 50, 50k liters or something like that, 50 tons, out of a field. And I'm like, oh man, if this is what picking uh, picking rocks is going to be like in the game, I'm going to have to uh, invest into something bigger. So that's why we ended up with this guy that I modified a little bit. <laughs> and it's like not picking up very much at all. Uh, I'm hoping that it, it starts to pick up. You know, it's going to be a smaller amount, you know, whenever we do this, but it, it is what it is. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, this is, again, for those that don't know, all the stones that we pick out of the fields goes into a crusher, um, and then that will get crushed into our lime, and uh, we'll use the leftovers as uh, our... Um, gravel for our roads but that's why all the roads around here are kind of white so that is the current plan I would like to have enough to do you know at least in front of my house <laughs> by the day but uh, you know uh, beggars can't be choosers I guess all right we didn't even get a thousand off of one turn so I'm going to do one more pass here and then I want to show you guys what I've been working on because I mean the, the deer's not done uh, cultivating the field out anyway, so you know we're just picking, picking what we can right now, and uh, you know we don't have deep cultivation either. We only have uh, shallow, so I'm sure that whenever we do ge get a uh, a deep cultivator, that um, we'll start to see uh, more and more bigger stones turn up, and and this will be completely worth it. So we ended up with 42.40 off of a couple passes there. It should be more than enough to show off here. So, this is what I've been working on. Uh, if we come down the road here right beside uh, the housing projects. Uh, uh, that just sounded bad. Not the housing projects. The housing project. Uh, we have the, the stone crusher place. And I wanted to really break up this field the best I could. And I didn't want it to be a square. So I thought, you know, doing something like this, where we have a, an in and an out, would really help that. Um by, well, breaking it up. So, I haven't tried this, and I hope it works. <laughs> oh, we got a pond, too. Build a nice little little runoff pond there. Because uh, normally, most of these places have to have water uh, run through them. So, hopefully, if I come over to... Is it here, I think? Let me get turned around here. There we go. So, we can do stone. Stone. 
this emptied out. Come over to here. Now what is this what is the output here? Um looks like we get rock powder and lime. And we can go ahead and activate this. It's gonna cost us $240 a day to run. Not too worried about that. But we should get it looks like uh, 500 lime out of uh, every ton. So we'll get 2,000 lime out of that. Now that doesn't go very far, but it does help uh, a good little bit. So let me go down. Uh, we're going to switch up uh, vehicles again. I'm going to hop in the MOG. And, well, no. I'm going to hop in the Ural. And uh, I'm going to get the, the flatbed. And uh, we're going to get some some trees cut here and uh, I want to I want to do some building today as is tradition I come up here to buy a log grab for what we need to do and some rape juice was on sale so we need to sell that really quick okay it almost covered the cost of the uh, of the grapple so let's get back down there and and let's get to fixing some things up okay so I really want to plan this out um, we need to make it easier to get in there and out so hey I know let's do this uh, I'll play hot pink yes I want to buy this for 100 bucks there we go alright so this tree's gonna have to go there we go hey look at there we're using tools uh, this one's gonna have to go so that would open up this area now we want to kind of build like a little children's park and sadly this one's gonna have to go and this guy's gonna have to go and that's gonna be a ooh, do I want this one to go? E yes and then we'll plant some more along the road here so that should let us know here that you know we need to cut couple trees down and that's gonna let us figure out uh, where the rest of this is gonna go so let's get to chopping cause yeah we need to build a little little in and out road here and everything else so no super strength here today we're going to do everything mechanically I'm not saying I just run over the truck with this but uh, the truck is now hidden by tree branch the bad thing is, I don't really have to cut these down. Um, probably like right here. Oh my god, I picked up a log with something besides my hands. Guys, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the thing. Okay, we said both of these. So, I, and I'm thinking more and more about it. I, I kind of want this to like go out. Maybe, I don't know. I need to figure out where, well, let's do that right now. So the dump point is right next to the bench is the is the big problem. Um, so we need to go into here and then back up or pull directly alongside. But then they have the the drop off points for these go there. So I really need to just use an end dump here all the time. So I'm going to leave those for now. Uh, we got rid of the two that really get in my way. So we'll see. Mm, yes, the tree that does not fall. Great. Can I smoke it with another tree to get it to fall? Yes. Yes. No house. Okay, we're good. I know this is going to seem like such an odd take, but being able to just use a controller and pick up and move logs around is such a refreshing feeling, I don't know how I feel about it. It's so different than what I'm used to that it kind of confuses me. I'm actually going to go for two logs because I'm feeling that cocky now. I don't know how to say this, but I was able to load a truck with, with a tractor. It's, it's amazing. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Another five grand. Five and a half, six grand. Something like that. Not too shabby for a couple of logs. So, let's head back on down there and take a look at what we can get and what we need to save up for.
so first things first. Um, I know I can afford the housing, so let's go ahead and get that part done. Now, the kind of houses that I want are not very expensive. Uh, they are somewhere here. I think they're like f they're 500 bucks a shot. I know that's like extremely cheap, but you know we're just doing this for role play, so I don't really care too much about it. Now we went with these, the the row houses before, and then there's guys like this that are way way more expensive, and then there's these little fellers. Um, I'm thinking a little bit of a mix in between here. Now I don't want to make this all flat. Um, I do want to do a little bit of some landscaping here. I want to make it uh, not uh, not perfect by any means, but I want to uh, to smooth it out just just a little bit to get this transition. Because I don't mind houses being up higher than another. Um, because I never did want to have it mirrored. I, I think that looks bad in this kind of area. So we're going to uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, let's pull out our dirt and bring it up to whatever size we need to be here. Oh, I think it was this one. Now I want to continue out this little little road, and then we're gonna head on up this way and. What I'm thinking is we could probably have something right here. Maybe not a house. Um, maybe something else. But uh, I want to do... Uh, so we come on up in up into this way. And I'm going to go ahead and put down one of the other houses. And let me make sure I don't have like uh, other ones sitting here real quick too. These are like eight grand. I wish, like, it needs to be more consistent on on how much some things cost in game. Like, if it's going to be five hundred bucks, it needs to be five hundred bucks. Um, like some of these would be really cool. Like, uh, you know, maybe something like this in there. Uh, uh, these are more Italian based, but uh, you know, maybe, eh, maybe not a garden center per se, but uh, something along those lines. Maybe up in here at some point. Okay. All right, let's do let's do this guy on the corner here. He's going to be our little uh, little experiment. I'm hoping he's going to kind of level himself out here. So probably right there. Yeah. Okay. He did level out. That's good. Um, now I can now I can pick up uh, that that level point. So we can do something like like that. kind of keep him nice and happy here up on his little little pad there you go now his house isn't going to be too fancy you know he's a he's a newcomer here so we're going to make him a classic West Virginia house here Hit them with the classics. You know what I mean. All right, next one. So I do want to have one of these bigger ones here, um, but it feels a little bit out of place being right there. But I think uh, I think maybe back here a little bit. Get. Uh, one of these, and then I'm just going to pick up uh, the the leveled spot off of that, and then we're going to just kind of smooth some stuff out up this way. And I know I don't normally, you know, smooth out a ton of terrain, but uh, this kind of feels a little bit wanted, a little bit needed here. Do something like that. Kind of cut back in this way. There we go. Make sure we're all on the same plane. Okay. Next, we can get another one of these, but nothing, nothing huge. I wish I would, I wish it would save like your place. Cause good lord, need a need a little bit of a manager here. Maybe uh, 
one of these guys too. So something. Why is it so expensive? That's so weird. I know, I'm using up a ton of good farmland for decoration and, and roleplay, but, you know, this is the name of the game. Okay. Hopefully now that works. Then what we can do is probably do a little guy, one of these little fillers. Uh, we need some, some different colors here. So let's say this guy can go right there. Yeah, that tears him up pretty good. I've seen lots of houses like that. And then we'll do another blue one. So let's do this guy about like about like that there here we go all right so well you know it's not perfect I think you guys can kinda get the gist that I'm going for here is I wanted everything to kinda mesh well with each other cuz like let's face it we're not gonna be the ones driving in and out of here a lot and this is the end of this little housing development and when you run around as much on well the countryside is what I do you see little areas like this uh, just they just develop for whatever reason um, you know whether it's uh, you know somebody's you know, family or something has started out here or or, or whatever. But then uh, you get like a bunch of these little these little developments with just different uh, different price homes, different styles of houses and everything else. And I think that they end up looking really good whenever they're uh, you know, kinda like that. Now that doesn't take up too much land, but it does help shape out you know this field and that's all that's all we're really going for most of the time is uh, you know making it uh, making it look good now these two fellers up here on the top I figure that they're gonna be a little a little hoity-toity you know what I'm saying so I bet you uh, is this a gate is that a big enough gate Uh, or something like that, maybe. I bet you this guy here, he's kind of, uh, yeah, I bet I bet you we do a, a big gate like this one. He's hoity-toity, you know what I mean? Just like that there. So he's got a nice, nice red, uh, or wrought iron gate there. And then he's probably got you know he's he's his own feller he's an electrician he likes to be by himself right so his probably looks something something along those lines huh just just enough to keep out the the riffraff as they say but then, you know, he's got like his little privacy wall, and then he probably goes into uh, a more traditional, probably like a privacy fence. Yeah, he's got his little, his little complex here. He's the neighbor that gives out the, uh, the Snickers, <laughs> the full-size Snickers on Halloween, I guess. Actually, no, he would be the one to give you a toothbrush. This guy, let's make this guy the cool guy and this guy the dentist guy. Right, like you, you, you get them once to give you like a toothbrush for, for Thanksgiving or not Thanksgiving for Halloween. So let's let's make up the one that was gonna give out the, uh, uh, the good the good ones, the the good candy. 
So, you know, he's still going to have a nice looking fence. But it's, it's going to be more like this, right? Like a nice open driveway. Uh, and he just kind of chills out, right? Like he's he's just he's laid back. He, he's a plumber. He, he's a plumber. He just kind of he kind of hangs out up here, does his own thing. You know, he's the he's the talk of the town, I guess. There you go. So got something, a little something like that. Nothing, you know, too, too over the top. You know what else he does? He plays a little bit of volleyball in his backyard. They're they're the they're that kind of people. So we'll put this down right there. And he probably has a grill here. Probably got it on the back porch, I'd say. Yeah, probably, you know where he, his grill's probably like right here. Wife is a nice lady. She she likes to, you know, just have like a little porch swing here. Just kind of watching what's going on over the hillside there. So we're just making up a, a story for, for you know, how these people are. Um, now this guy, this guy, he's got like four kids to him. Probably not his. <laughs> that's horrible that's absolutely horrible um, but yeah he's more rigid in in what he's got going on here uh, it, people like this normally have you know a wagon wheel uh, for whatever reason leaned up against the post out back and uh, you know like a, a chair we'll, we'll path all this out here in just a minute so nice little chair in the shade uh, what else is this guy gonna have? Well, they're both probably gonna have American flags. Let's just put it that away. So we're gonna put one there, and uh, this guy—he's he, more—he's more of a. Let's face it toward uh, toward the entrance way there, and that way everybody knows it's not right next to his house, huh? Now before we run out of money, I need to place what cars they drive. Uh, plumber guy. Plumber guy is going to have a couple oddities here. So, you know, he's going to have uh, wife's car is probably going to be like this baby blue looking crossover thing. You know, and it's just kind of like, it's kind of hanging out out here, right? Uh, I'm going to give myself some money to finish off this. Because, uh, you know, this isn't technically my money. This is somebody else's building houses. Uh, and then he's going to have his plumbing van, right? Like this is the... Let me just do this. I guess he can have like a bigger SUV then as like his personal. Eh, I bet you he kind of parks like this though. He, there's always that one. <laughs> then out back. You know, he's going to have the the project that never gets done, right? Um, he'd probably have, like, maybe an old truck? Yeah, he's got this old truck he, he was going to work on and, and just never never got around to it. So it's kind of hanging out out back here. There we go. I think that looks a okay. It's like right in the line, line side of the grill. The, the wife will be mad. This is this is real life things. <laughs> okay, what does what does the dentist drive? Oh, the dentist drives a black uh, a black car. Definitely backed up into a, into a parking spot. Um, wife probably drives not that. Uh, she's lame. She's going to drive this burgundy thing. And then they've got a teenage daughter that drives this thing, and it's probably, like, hedged up over there. You know, almost hitting the wall. And, yeah, that probably them there, because they're kind of lame. They're, they're big, they're big lamos. Now, these people don't have to abide by the same rules as me, so, you know, they're, they're rich. They've got the money, so they're going to get, uh, 
Do we have concrete? Yes, they've got a concrete driveway because they're hoity-toity. And then our cool guy, he's just got a gravel driveway. He's just he's just chilling. He's trying to live his best country life and got stuck next to the next to the dentist. That eh, driveway might be a little wide. Eh, it'd be fine. Now this guy, he's probably got a tree out front. Uh, that's what I'm I'm feeling here. But he's gonna have like something practical. Uh, like a large oak tree. He's just gonna have that just right there. And it's always gonna be a problem with this guy because that branch comes over the top and he's not about that. Uh, this guy, his wife complains and she wants uh, a willow because reasons, I guess. There we go. And she probably wants like a little chair under it or something. Okay, I think that's enough detail for both of these. They've kind of got the, like their own story going on. So I'm okay with that. Um, these guys, I'll detail them off screen. I'm not too worried about it. You, you know what I'm going to probably end up doing is, you know, the same thing. Kind of give them like their own little personality and, and everything like that. And, and, and kind of go on from there. But uh, these guys need some grass, that's for sure. Alright, let's take a little walk around here, see how we ended up. So, cool guy's house. Car's looking okay. Driveway's a little bit big, not too worried about it. Uh, nice little project truck, we got a grill, got all the grass, volleyball court. I put in forest ground, we don't have sand on this map, so that kind of sucks. So we, boop, there we go. Uh, dentist man, can I jump this? No, of course not. He's got his nice little gated thing. Uh, got the cars in, grass in, all that fun stuff. Uh, it looks like a like a guy you wouldn't want to talk to, but uh, hopefully he does some good work. That's all we care about. So that takes care of that, and now I can go back to being at six hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, we spent. Good little bit of money. We built some houses. Got these two guys. They're all moved in. Uh, these will need a little bit of work. Got the area here cleaned up. I'm going to do some more uh, work on, you know, lining all this out. This stuff keeps popping, and that's amazing. Um, hopefully, that all ends up paying for itself. But I think that is where I'm going to have to leave it at for today. Uh, we've got money to make tomorrow. I'm hoping that either the sugar beets or the sugar cane is done tomorrow and not everything is done tomorrow because that's going to be a nightmare and I don't want to do that so we won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, kind of where we're at. These are at 61% so these should be done tomorrow. Good deal. And yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it at for today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please give it a like. If you didn't, please let me know why down below. And uh, we're going to continue doing what we do and building out uh, the rest of this map. So this is the last of the housing that we're going to build up here. We have, uh, looks like, probably one, three, five, seven nine more workers so I can I can open up a couple more businesses now and uh, they'll have a place to work so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now